Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a we have to solve a polynomial inequality and we need to express the solution in interval notation. The first thing we're gonna do here is to solve this polynomial equation x cubed minus 4x squared minus x plus 4 equals 0. For solving this polynomial equation, we're going to use factoring by grouping first, right? And the first two terms have x squared in common and then x minus 4. And for the second part, be sure you factor out a negative. You may want to put a 1 and then x minus 4 here equals 0. And now if you notice, we have a common factor of x minus 4. And then we're going to write x squared minus 1, and then equals to 0. And you have two choices here. You can solve this polynomial equation, or you can keep factoring, which I will do it here. x minus 4, and x squared minus 1 is x minus 1, x plus 1, and the factor form equals 0. So now we have the factor form, we can find the zero using the zero product property and we get x equals 4, x equals 1, and x equals negative 1 if you set up each of those factor equals to 0. I'm going to put these three x's on the table and start with negative 1, positive 1, and then positive 4. Okay, and I'm going to start with 0, which is easy value. If you put 0 here, you get a negative number. If you put 0 here, you get a negative number, and here you get a positive number. So we have two, two negatives, right, and a positive. The outcome will be positive, but 0, be careful, it's right here between negative 1 and 1. So I jump to the second interval. Uh, if you check it, you will notice it's going to be negative here, negative here, and positive here. There is an alternation here. That's that's uh, another way to see this problem. Be careful, not all the time you're going to have alternation. Um, but in this case, we do, and you can check it. And now we can answer to our problem. We are asked when this polynomial is greater or equal to 0, that will be here and here. So that will be, uh, I'm going to put it here, negative 1, 2, 1. This closed interval with brackets, right? And then 4, infinity. Be sure you put a parenthesis to infinity. And eventually, if you need this union sign, uh, use it. Okay. Um, if you take a look on the graph, we have the same idea. The graph is on the top of the x-axis here, and then here, and it uh, matches the intervals. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help.